What's up guys? So I basically just wanted to do a video to kind of talk to you guys about what's been going on with me. So the number one thing has probably been us working on our house. And that has been an experience and a half. Because you take the amount of work that you plan on doing, but you know needs to be done. And then you pile on this much for all the things that go wrong. And then this much for having to deal with all the people to fix everything. So it's like you plan on this much work and you end up with this much. And I knew it would happen, but at the same time, when it does happen, it's like, really, this is happening? And we have hit snag after snag after snag that messes this up, then we can't do this. And because we can't do this, can't do this. And it's like, this is how I feel about it. It's so frustrating. But I will show, um, I'm going to make a video about the whole process. And I've been taking pictures of everything that's been done so you guys can see what we started with and what we end up with. And hopefully we'll be done with it in the next couple of months. That's what my plan is, but we'll see. Um, another thing that's been going on is I had my first dance performance or recital, whatever you want to call it. And it was awesome. We did Cinderella. And I'm going to show you some pictures and maybe a couple of clips here in a minute. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is just a picture of us um, at the bar during class, and I'm in love with it, so I thought I'd do it. This is us at rehearsal, tea time during rehearsals in the dance studio, the queen backstage, the dressing room, us on stage during one of our dress rehearsals, the jazz class setting up the stage, another one of them. And this is the Brothers Grimm, and they basically tell the entire story, like they're breaking it up as we dance the scenes, and it's based on the character Ella, which is the only girl in the pictures, Cinderella, Tea Time with the stepsisters and Cinderella, the stepsisters getting ready for the ball, and there's going to be a few of those, I think they're really cute. And I love this one. There's actually a point where the stepsisters start fighting and the stepmother tries to separate them and she ends up like this. And it's so cute. I'll show it when I actually get my DVD and can um, get the clip for you guys. It's awesome. The fairy godmother. And her revealing herself to Cinderella. The court jesters as they came and entertained us at the ball. The prince and his mother. Cinderella making her appearance at the ball. And this next picture is great. Look at everybody's faces. So they did not like it. The dance between Cinderella and her prince. And this was the midnight scene, which is one of my favorites. So basically the fairy godmother came and stopped everything. And as the music went, this chime would go off and she'd send us all off stage. Everybody trying on the shoe, and the, you have to see the stepmother one. It's coming up right after this one. It's my favorite. Again, look at everybody's faces. It's hilarious. So crowning Ella. And getting ready to go off stage, and here's some clips. Well, we here at the Murray State News went to take a look at Cinderella, a story ballet, which was showcased in MSU's own Lovett Auditorium. This performance was brought together by MSU theater students and the Jackson Purchase Dance Company, with whom just celebrated their 20th anniversary. The recital also incorporated local schools around Murray. 
We talked to Karen Balzer, artistic director of the Jackson Purchase Dance Company, about how the schools got involved. In school, sending all this artwork on why they thought that they should dance, and some of their answers were really cute, but um, so just do it. I thought that was funny. Please visit thenews.org for more info on Cinderella, a story ballet, and be sure to pick up a copy. So yeah, it was a great experience, it was a lot of fun, and it went better than, uh, sorry, my cat's playing with stuff, it went a lot better than I thought it would. I was kind of nervous about how I'd feel about it, or if I'd really like it, and I did. It was really rewarding to um, spend all that time in rehearsals, and then once we actually got to do everything in front of everyone, it was awesome. It was like everything we worked for, that was our moment to show it. And knowing that and doing it are two different things. So that was really cool. And other than that, I haven't really had much going on. I've been um, a little little addicted to Gossip Girl, maybe. Um, probably shouldn't say that. And I'm sure you're like, really? That show? I know. I didn't think I would like it. I definitely didn't think I would like it as much as I did. But I have. And I'm almost done with it and it makes me sad. And then I finally almost caught up with The Office. So I think I'm on season eight of it, the first couple of episodes. And I'm looking forward to catching up with it, I guess, even though I kind of don't want to. I've thought about going back and watching the first ones because I felt like they were a lot better. But that's pretty much been what's going on with me. So what's been going on with you guys? Um, hit me up, comment, message, whatever you want, and I'll catch you guys next time.